These cooler temps are making it feel like fall, but our farms will be feeling the impact of this year's drought conditions all through the winter months. Our Catherine Merck went to the pumpkin patch for a look at this year's crop and shows us how one farmer avoided a bad batch. Most of the time you can put seeds in the ground and, and Mother Nature does, does her part and takes care of them, but this year, not at all. Chris Kirsch is the owner of Enchanted Valley Acres. In the fall, this place becomes the home of the harvest. And it looks like a lot of weeds because there is, but there's also a huge amount of pumpkins out here. To adjust to this summer's drought, he had to take extra time to water his crops early in the season. As most farmers vividly know, May and June were extremely dry. Pumpkins need water in order to be able to grow. So if your jack-o'-lantern didn't get enough water, it can look a little bit less impressive this year. I'm happy with what we have. If Chris didn't make this effort, his pumpkin patch could have looked spooky. If we hadn't done that, I don't think a lot of the seeds would have germinated. They would have sat there. So yeah, I could definitely see it impacting all other crops as well. This season, some other pumpkin patches may not have the same luck. However, Chris says the farms who put in the extra effort will be the place to pick. Just because one patch of pumpkins didn't do so good doesn't mean the other didn't thrive. We'll have pumpkins for you until the end of October. Reporting in Cross Plains, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now.